Well, let's talk, as promised to one of the deputy mayors of Jerusalem, Fleur Hassan Nahum, a member of Benjamin Netanyahu's Likud party. Thank you so much for being here on the programme. Uh, what, in your view, is the best way to de-escalate what we've been seeing? Well, it would be very, very simple if Hamas just stopped firing rockets. That's really all they have to do. I just, you know, I heard a few minutes of Nabil Shah, you know, and the cynicism of blaming Israel for confrontation that started with a rocket that came uh, all the way from Gaza to Jerusalem, the very place they're claiming to defend, you know, the, the, the place of the third holiest site, uh, the place where 40% of our population is Muslim. And that's where they threw rockets. And for, for what? to get into another round of confrontation because they've been planning this for months. The Palestinian Authority are trying to distract people from canceling an election. The Jerusalem excuse is, of course, completely distorted and cynical. 150,000 Jerusalem Palestinians can go and vote. 6,000 uh, would be caught in this, uh, in this bureaucratic uh, obstruction that is going on at the moment. But let me ask you about easing tensions a little more, because on reflection, the heavy-handed policing uh, in Jerusalem, preventing Palestinians from meeting, entering the Al-Aqsa mosque, firing rubber bullets, stun grenades, uh, uh, they were mistakes on reflection, were they not? Well, absolutely not. I can tell you what I do believe was a mistake, but it was a well-intentioned mistake. And that was putting the barricades outside Damascus Gate. That's not Al-Aqsa. That is the exit of the old city. And the reason why the barricades were put was for crowd control in the post-corona era and in the tragedy we had a few weeks ago up north when 45 people were killed because of a, of a, a crowd stampede. Now, that was our intention. It was not anything else. But of course, in, in this place, everything is politicized. But, you know, everything has been politicized. He spoke about Sheikh Jarrah. Again, we're talking about a property dispute that the Palestinian Authority yep. have cynically used, cynically used for this purpose. There were the, the families were offered not to be expelled. The families were offered protected tenancy. And the minute the Palestinian lawyers got involved, they canceled an agreement that they had previously agreed to. And so, again, what we have is all these things that they're creating. They're creating so-called provocations okay. because they've been looking for a war for quite a while. Hamas has been looking for a war. Iran has been looking for a war. And the Palestinian Authority are looking to distract people from not having an election. Okay. Thank you very much for 